What's up YouTube, just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing, showing my solution to question 33 in chapter nine, section one of the 10th edition calculus textbook by Ron Larson and Bruce Edwards. So in this question, we have a particular sequence, which is equal to 10n squared plus 3n plus seven over 2n squared minus 6 and we need to determine the convergence or divergence of the sequence and the way you want to do this is you want to use the nth term test or the limit test as some may call it where you take the limit of the sequence as your n value goes to infinity and for a sequence if you're if your limit is a finite number, including zero, it converges to that number. But if it equals infinity, then it diverges. So in this case, we're going to take the limit. I need a new marker. And then goes infinity of 10. Geez, I really need a new marker. 10n squared plus 3n. Plus 7 over 2n squared minus 6. Now, this question is actually a special case because if you notice, the exponential, like the exponential degree of the numerator, in this case is 2, like the, the, the greatest degree, is 2 in the top and 2 in the denominator, which means that the limit as n goes to infinity is actually going to equal the um, coefficient in front of these terms. So the limit as n goes to infinity of 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So this sequence converges to 5. Now Say you don't realize that, that this ratio is your actual limit. You can use L'Hopital's rule to find this. So if you were to plug in infinity into your sequence, you would end up with infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. And so you'd have to take the derivative of the top and derivative of the bottom, respectively. So this so the derivatives would become twenty n plus three over four n. And again, you're gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity of that, and again you will get infinity over infinity. Which again is an indeterminate form. Again, you're going to have to use L'Hopital's rule. So, again, you're going to take the derivative of the top and derivative of the bottom, which in this case will be 20 over 4. And when you take the limit, as n goes to infinity of that, that will equal 5, which is the same thing we got up there. So, even if you don't realize this ratio is here, you can still solve like a normal problem using L'Hopital's rule. 